Hey everybody, John Oakes here, and in this video I want to quickly show you how you can very easily disable the title links in your embedded YouTube videos. Now before I show you the nuts and bolts of this, let me just quickly show you what it is exactly that I'm talking about. So here I have a blog post that I recently made on my Empower Network blog, and you can see here I've embedded a video into this post. Now by default, when you embed a video from YouTube into a blog post, uh, or anywhere for that matter, it is going to show up in this fashion where you can control the size and, and the dimensions of how your video shows, but by default, again, it's always going to have the title of the video, and that title is a hyperlink, as well as more information links up here at the top. Now, the problem with that is that in a lot of cases, you don't really want a visitor to be able to easily click and leave your blog especially when they do it inadvertently. It can be annoying, it can be a little bit disruptive to the visitor's experience. What happens a lot of times is people will inadvertently click to either try and pause or stop the video, or in some cases even to start playing it, and they'll click this title region up here, which is then hyperlinked, and what happens is they're immediately taken off your website or blog Rewind and or rewatch this video. taken directly to the video original posting on YouTube. So that's not really the desired effect. So there's a very easy way to do this, and I'm going to show you that now. When you're in YouTube and you find the video, whether it's on your channel or someone else's channel, you go down to the Share button, and then you click on the Embed button, and that's going to give you the embed code. Now, two real quick things. The first thing is you want to always, uh, in most cases, uncheck this box that says Show Suggested Videos When the Video Finishes. Now, what that's going to do is, just like it says, not display those suggested videos. At the end of the video, you don't really want somebody to be tempted to click on another related video and, again, leave your embedded video on your blog post and go to YouTube and kind of go off onto a whole other track uh, and maybe never come back to your blog. You want to keep them there. So at the end of a video, the desired effect in most cases is that the video just simply ends and then they take advantage of your call to action, or continue reading the blog post. So unchecking that box right there will make sure that those videos don't show up. So now back to the original uh, video intent here is to show you how to disable the title link. What you want to do is go ahead and make sure you got your sizing right. I'm just going to size it for my blog. Go ahead and grab the embed code, and then you go into your blog post. Now this is a, a blog post that I'm working on. This is in fact the blog post that you're most likely reading and viewing this video on. I just go into the desired location where I want that video to show up and paste that in and then I'm going to add one simple addition to that line of code. I'm going to go to the end of the actual YouTube link to the video itself. I'm going to add in an ampersand show info equals zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to hit preview post and I'm going to show you what that does. So you can see here when I go down here to where the video is embedded that the title does not show. So again, standard format shows a title at the top which is hyperlinked directly to the video on YouTube. When you add that line of code, that's not there. And so even when you play that video, it doesn't show up. And then the other option that we had done by deselecting the show related videos box is going to control what happens at the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and let it play to the end here. I'll mute it. So I've got a call to action in this video and at the end it just simply ends and shows the display original screen at the beginning of the video instead of showing a whole selection of other videos that they can very easily get distracted, click on, and leave your blog post. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure and click on the link. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, click on the link in the YouTube video description and read the full blog post. Uh, if you're a blogger and you want to learn about another way to monetize your blogging efforts that allows you to make a phenomenal full-time income with very part-time efforts, be sure again, read the full blog post. Towards the bottom, I've got some information for you. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.